what is up patio tanks man i have a lot to update you guys um i'm not using my microphone so you guys probably will hear the background noise the water the water filter and everything i kind of like that in my audio along with like very low volume in the background but let me update you guys on what's been happening if you guys do follow me on instagram um or on facebook or yeah i think those two platform you guys will see some of my updates but um as far as updates updates this is the most recent update and there's a lot to cover all right now let me update you guys with the most obvious that you guys have seen in the beginning right here this guy is i think mature enough he's pushing six maybe almost seven six eight six nine inches um He's almost, he's probably a little bit bigger than my iPhone 14 Pro Max. Um, but this female right here is an egg layer. Um, I was just checking her sides. Maybe she was just rubbing against this wood right here. But she did lay some eggs um, on this wood. I put them in the community tank and I'll tell you what's been going on with that community tank. Um, yeah, but he's, I wanna test his fertility. He's an F1. I do notice, I do know that there are some F1 that are very fertile. Um, I just want to test this fertility rate with this parrot. If it does turn out great, even better. If it doesn't, it's okay. I have some predator fish that I'll be feeding the babies to. Or, you know what, if it doesn't turn out, this guy will eat up all the babies. But she is a very good mother. I've seen her taking care of her eggs. Um, she did pair up with the male parrot that I have and she laid, they laid eggs. She lay eggs, and um, as a lot of you guys know, male parrots are not fertile. So let's see how this turns out. I really wish he's fertile because his tube is showing like crazy as well too. And he, he is in a breeding coat right now because if you guys do know, his color is dull. His orange is gone. His red head is not there anymore. It's super pink and his coke deflated. So. We'll see whenever she she's laid eggs. Let's see if he knows how to work it. If not, I'll give them maybe a few more tries. But from the owner who gave me this parrot, um, says that she lays once a month. So we'll see how consistent that is, um, how fast she pairs up with other fish. I do do quite a, a few often. Water change probably like once every other two days or every other day if the water does get a little dirty. All right, now let's get on with this um, update right here um, this guy has been looking super fantastic I don't know just today that I see his coke dropped a little bit there's a little bit, bit of wrinkles um, not quite sure what happened maybe he kind of paired up with the female uh, with the parrot the male parrot yesterday I do notice that when you do put a opposite gender parrot in there they kind of paired up fast when they are kind of um, which I'm gonna call mature to the to the breeding stage but f2s are definitely definitely very infertile um yeah and i did just recently got this guy for about a week maybe a little over a week now he is amazing let's let's zoom this in focus yes there we go he is amazing he was super shy but now he is a little bit more comfortable with the tank and the environment he comes out he, he just recently got into uh the, sh the store for a few days and i want to go pick them up at julie's very very beautiful fish right here um, julie has awesome prices right now if you guys do want to go get some fish from her please do so she has a lot of fish she has uh deals great deals for guppies koi's and betas as well and great prices for flowers very not very good prices so yeah i saw this guy I picked him up right away he is a beautiful fish right here and i cannot let you guys I cannot shy away from this guy from you guys. He is a favorite all time um, style of my, my kind of fish. He is super nice. Um, he is quite around on the social media. I shared about two videos on him. And uh, yeah, he is beautiful. Very easy to uh, groom this guy. I mean, he was in my tank for about a week and he did not blow up, but the past three days, wow. That Coke grew super fast. Um, he is super nice, amazing color. Um, yeah, I love this guy's 
this guy a lot. I'm actually buying two more fish that looks identical to him. Twins, tri triplets, I would say. I missed out on the, the other deal. I would have gotten uh, quadruplets, but it's okay. These guys are really nice. Um, the other two guys are coming in quick. Maybe next week, I'll update you guys. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about him in the comments down below. He is a beautiful fish in my opinion. I like him a lot. And in here, I don't have anything in here. This is just an empty tank. Um, I prepped this tank for the other fish that looks like the other camphor coming in for him. Um, yeah. Now let's let's take a look over here. Whoa, this guy is beautiful. Let's bring the light over here a little bit. Damn, he is amazing. You know, I wasn't expecting him to turn out this good. Um, I love, I like him a lot. He is a beautiful, beautiful fish. Sorry for the very dirty tank. Um, I'm gonna be moving soon, so I need the algae in here. I need all that dirt or all the, you know, um, beneficial bacteria that is on the sponge filter to stay like that because within a few uh, days or maybe maybe two to three more weeks I'll be starting to move and I need those to cycle my tank as soon as possible maybe in a night or two when the um, water warms up I'm gonna be dropping these fish in I do have two more tanks empty tanks that I set on the side so when I move I could just set those up bring these sponge filter put it in warm those tank up and um divide these fish into their uh tank while i started slowly moving these tanks and um it's gonna be quite a few uh hard work but i think we got it you know i'm kind of scared of the process of moving these fish because i don't want to lose any fish uh, but especially like this guy right here he's amazing he's pushing four inches super thick big coke um, big hammer coke and a super square body nice fins and tail so we'll see but this guy is amazing he's really red throughout the day um i know it's past their sleeping time ready so he's he's kind of pink you know but he's still red very red and um let's go over to this guy right here this guy he dropped pretty bad i don't know what happened to him um my thinking is that he might have gone and fed or injected i don't want to say injected because it's like i'm playing it's it's not a bad thing but to us in the u.s uh we don't we don't like our or me i don't like it you know injected with like quote-unquote steroids but maybe those kind of went away and he deflated he's still super active and very colorful and eating all the time but then his coke is not coming or is my it might just be that he don't like me um but i'm trying to groom this guy but i will be giving him away to a friend as well um when he was small he was my type of fish but he grew up and there's some traits that i don't like as far as colors pearls flower horn line um his face i like him a lot but there's some traits for me that makes me um not so desired to me he's got a really nice face and he is more leaning towards f3 and a lot of you guys know that i don't really like f3 um he'll be in this divided tank i do have one more and then another one over there with a female and my kml you guys saw him in the video and a va over there um but this will all change very quick a lot of the guppies i don't know if you guys i posted up in the video before kind of forgot you know I, put, I record a lot and delete a lot and record a lot and delete a lot so it takes me quite a little bit to update you guys but i took everything from here uh moved moved them out because um i did have decorations and plants in here but then my kml was a little too aggressive and he was hurting himself so i took everything out divided the tank again just for the meantime because once i move i'll have more room to set up more tanks and they will have their own individual tank he'll be going away um i'll have this tank just for the kml and a female yeah and this guy will be staying in this tank maybe maybe the 29 maybe a 40 gallon i don't know what, what's up yeah but we'll you know we'll get all those situated i move everything out and the plants are in here voila it's i'm so 
amazed by how beautiful this tank is. If you guys haven't already seen my videos, my shorts or my reels on um, Instagram, this is my tank. I move all the plants in here. I take out the woods and uh, I, I just recently did a water change. I actually really, really like how this these dark algae contours this tank. Um, and all the roots dangling down from the pothos is just super nice, in my opinion, you know? Give plenty of oxygen during this hot season. Um, and maybe when I move into uh, a house, I probably won't be needing a heater, maybe just for the winter, but for the most part, I probably will not need a heater. Um, these guys could live in pretty cold temperature. Uh, not too cold, but I would say, I would recommend Recommended is probably 70 degrees for the lowest, but I would say 70, 68 is probably okay. Don't take my word for it. Um, any, but anywhere between 72 to 74 is perfect for these guys. 76, very good for breeding, especially for these angels. Um, and the 78, 79, 80 is also okay as well too. 82 is probably a little pushing it for these guys. Um, they might get a little uncomfortable, but they'll still do okay uh, but not not recommended i would stay within anywhere from 74 to 76 it's probably great for them but yeah this is a very very nice um community tank um i would say my my escaping came a long way you know um went from just rocks and substrate to plants and driftwoods and yeah i think i think i like this a lot uh, this is probably my style of scaping i do like all the jungling stuff but you know that's too expensive for me i just i got this on a really really budget stuff um i do have this uh sand pile of sand right here in this bucket because i move all the all the sand into here from from here but um i might be setting another a community tank so we shall see because i love angels i love discus i do want to get a discus tank i love schooling fish i want probably might do a discus with uh rummy nose tetras and um what are those minnows yeah i think the minnows yeah i forgot what those are called but there's some type of minnows and some other fish you know they're really nice maybe gold a more a more colorful natural schooling tank but this is a more natural um more natural it's just black and just natural color tank a natural fish color tank um i don't know how to say it but these are not not so colorful besides these rose rose line sharks they're super nice neon tetras and that right there but besides that these are black and white gray along the natural color looking fish wild type of fish uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments below. I love this, love this tank a lot. The algae does a great contour to the, complements the tank a lot, you know, in my opinion. Yeah, I like this a lot. I love this style of tank. Um, yeah, this is probably one of the most worried for me um, to be moving this uh, all out. Um, I sh We'll see. I probably might drain all the water, keep everything in here, take out all the fish best that I can and uh, move over there. I'll probably keep them in a bucket for, I don't know, overnight. I hope they don't die, you know? I hope they don't die, but I, this is one of the, I'll try to figure this out. I'm kind of scared. I do have four buckets. Might divide them up, put some air stone in there and hope for the best because I don't want to kill any of my community tanks. This is probably the longest community tank of fish that I, uh, fishes that I've kept because a lot of my community fish usually die within two to three weeks, maybe a month, maybe two months for the longest. But this is probably like almost half a year, maybe half past half a year, they're still alive. So I'm super proud of this and I love this, love this. Yep, and that is it for the update. This is the 40 gallon that I was talking about. I need to set this up as soon as possible and start taking these things. <sighs> it's gonna be a hassle, but we will see.
let me know what you guys think about the new update um i can't wait to move into a house where i have more room for uh, more fish tanks more fish uh, maybe one more or two more community tanks like this maybe just one more two more might be a little bit too much but let me know what you guys think in the comment down below please remember to like comment and subscribe hit the like um hit the like button hit the bell and hit that notification i don't know just something you know support me thank you guys i'll see you guys in the next video